This is Adrian reporting for ESCplus.com, and I have the pleasure to have next to me no other than Bilal Hassani from France, representing the country at this year's Eurovision Song Contest. I think it's not going to be, or it's going to be not only Bonsoir Paris, but Bonsoir Europe. How is it? Yes, Bonsoir Europe, <laughs> yay. Actually, there's a lot of uh, commenting on, on social media since you won Destination Eurovision, because it's also been really hectic with you, and you mm -hmm. have really tried to get into this bubble so hard, and you're doing a great effort on it. How does it feel the overall thing since you won Destination Eurovision? Well, it has been really, really fast and really really exciting and um, did not really have the time to to settle much. I tried, I actually kind of did, but not so much. So I'm still kind of in my bubble and uh, I'm concentrated on all the love that I've been receiving and all the messages and all the help that I actually received from professionals and from people who are experts in Eurovision. Okay. So it's, uh, it's actually been amazing. Okay, I wonder actually how you manage to like have time or find time to do some modeling, some uh, photo sessions, to sing, to, I don't know, how do you find time for to do everything? Well, I have a team that's amazing and that helps me uh, schedule everything and I actually don't sleep at all. <laughs> uh, so it's, uh, it's a, lot of, a lot of stuff with during like for a lot of hours and everything but I'm really passionate about everything that I do and I want everything that I do to be perfect so I take the time for it even though it takes uh, like it makes me lose some time to sleep sometimes or to eat or sometimes like I skip a meal or something I don't really care because I uh, what matters to me is that the audience and the people that look and that watch me I want them to be 100% fulfilled and to have a great time so and actually, you are enjoying the bubble of Eurovision a lot. You're receiving a lot of positive comments from fans, and you're really into them actually as well. Yeah. Um, how, what was the thing about? What do you think about this? And how, how are you approaching the fandom of Eurovision, which is so big, actually? Well, the fandom has actually been really welcoming. They're also really funny. They're hilarious. Some of y'all are mean, but mm. you're funny, so it's fine. So, yeah, it's, it's actually everyone has been kind of like really welcoming. And I see that there are a lot of inside jokes that I don't understand okay. yet. <laughs> but I'm starting to get into it. Like, I've been a fan of Eurovision for a long time, but I never was like a social media fan of Eurovision. I was just watching the show. And now I see that there's an, an entire subculture and I'm really interested in it. So, yeah. I want, I'm curious about it. Also, fans sometimes could be curious about how was the everything, the process, the, the in deep with the Madame Messier, because they, you both write together uh, well, for the contest. Uh, how did you decide to see together and say, OK, let's do this for Eurovision? Well, at first, it wasn't for Eurovision at all. We just, uh, we just met in September, last September, and we became instant friends, and we hang out, hang out, hang out. And then one night, I was hanging out at their place. It was really late, and, and we started writing the song. And it was like not really planned. It was not really something that we wanted to do at first. We were just like having fun. And then Jean-Carles Monsieur was like doing this -da 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 on loop, on loop, on loop. And then I was like, I am me. And that's the first thing that I said. And mm -hmm. we just knew from there what we wanted to do. And we just wrote the song in like two hours. And at the end, we sent it to our producer because we had the same producer. Hi, Guillaume. Hi there. What's up? He's like my second dad. And so he heard the thing and he was like, you should send it to Destination Eurovision. I was like, Sh you sure? And he was like, yeah. I was like, I want to do it. But maybe Madame Monsieur are not like wanting to do the competition all over again. And Madame Monsieur was like, yeah, we're kind of tired, but the song is great, so we can do it. And we just did it. What kind of advice are they giving to you in order to prepare for this whole experience that it's about to come? Because it's... They told me to not go and to surrender. No, I'm kidding. They told me, they told me to um, enjoy every single little second that I'm going to live because they went through all of that and then the, the day after it's over, it's over mm -hmm. and that's it. And you have to move on with your life and just do something else, uh, go on tour, continue the concert, start the other album, blah, blah, blah. So it's just like your vision, when it stops, it stops and it, and it can be like really hard if you, if you have regrets or like you think you didn't enjoy your time. So they told me just enjoy, really try to have like... Um, 
like to step back all, every time you're doing something cool and be like, look, you're doing something really cool. Yep, yep, yep. So that's it. Actually, last year, the guys portrayed and delivered a story in their song. Always, Madame Monsieur, and always they write songs with the full Stories, meaning yeah. and depth meaning. Your song has a meaning as well. But what does it personally mean to you? Well, this song was actually really therapeutic for me because sometimes I feel down and sometimes I listen to, the, to, to, to what people say and sometimes I read the comments and, and it makes me feel like, like a bit hurt. And this song actually makes me feel empowered. It really helps me uh, hold my head high and just uh, go ahead with my life and keep going and fight harder and... And uh, and I just uh, it really helps me and it actually has helped a lot of a lot of people, a lot of people that have listened to the song have sent me messages. They were like, I can really be myself now, and that's um, that's what the song is all about. And being at Eurovision is so fun because I get to spread this message this message like to so many people, like 200 million people yeah, are gonna listen. Amazing. And I hope like my main goal is not to be top five, top ten, top fifteen, left left side of the right side of the scoreboard I don't care uh, it, it's just about like spreading the message and getting as much people as I can to listen to the song and maybe help a little okay uh, actually you have a lot of things coming up you have a tour you have an album called yeah. Kingdom that it's coming out on the same day as my birthday yeah as well so it's gonna be a great Happy birthday. birthday yeah, yeah. you're gonna have a great birthday I'll send you a copy it's gonna be a great birthday uh, gift actually thank you it's gonna be I'm pretty sure of that thank can you. you give us a hint on it what are we gonna find on the, on the album the album is gonna have a lot of stuff it's going to be urban it's going to be poppy it's going to be uh, ballads and then it's going to be extremely dense and um, there are songs about love there are songs about friendship there are songs about breakups there are songs about breakups where I'm in the wrong okay. and the person is not in the wrong I wanted to switch things up because it's always about you did this to me and I was like well I did this to you so we had a lot of things I really wanted to do something unique and I wanted to do something that could speak to m my generation um, because we don't have that a lot in France, actually, and uh, okay. so that was kind of fun. And also extra, extra, extra production, extra boom, boom, bang, 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 shook, 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 scream, wig. <laughs> we're going to keep an eye on it, and uh, we will listen to everything for I sure. Hope so. Um, last but not least, I know that you met my country's representative, or at least you shared some words online. How was the... Uh, it's Mickey from Spain, actually. Uh, oh, you're he, from Spain? Yeah. Cool! Great words about you as well. I love Mickey. Yep. Well, he's adorable. He's always so nice. He's always sending love to me, and I'm always sending love to him because he's so sweet and adorable. And actually, I've been talking to a lot of people from... Um, from OT, oh. and everyone is so nice. Yeah. Like I, they're they're also adorable, and the adventure is like kind of crazy. We had this show in France for so many years, and the fact that it still exists in Spain is so freaking cool. And yeah, Mickey, I love the revamp, love the music video, right. and um, yeah, I can't wait to finally meet him because we've been talking. Yeah. I was still on Destination Eurovision when we started talking, and now we're both in the competition and uh, we're gonna meet in May and I can't wait. Are, are you doing any promotional tour? Uh, well, I'm not going to be in Spain. I'm oh. so sad. I really wanted to come. Like a lot of people from Spain have been sending yeah, me messages yeah. for me to come and I, I wish I could but we have the album coming out and we have a lot of TV shows and stuff in France so I, it's like in the week so I cannot but we're doing Amsterdam I think Mickey is going to be there yeah, uh, yeah. then I'll meet him yeah, before in May. April yeah. and uh, we're doing London pretty cool actually so I wish you the best success the best of luck Bilal uh, thank you so much for your time here thank you. can you send a bit uh, a small message or whatever you want to our viewers on ESCplus.com Hi everyone, this is Bilal, love you guys, don't forget to vote for me in May, I guess, I just have a great time, have a great Eurovision season, love you guys.